Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about some winter event ideas. So we talked the other day about how to come up with events for your role play and how to structure some of those events. Um, I'll link it up in the in the card in case you missed that video. But today I want to just have a little bit of fun and let's talk about some event ideas that you can use for winter themed events. And these are things that you could use even for maybe thread ideas if you're more of a one on one role player instead of running a role play group. So even if you're not a moderator, even though this is really more of a mod help video, stay tuned because I think there's some good stuff for you in here too. So some of these ideas are really going to depend on the type of role play that you have, but a lot of them can be adapted. So let's talk about the obvious one first. December is holiday season. So having a holiday themed event is something that is really fun to do for your role play group. And I know it's something that I like to do in my one on one role plays around this time of year. So maybe you have a holiday party or a gift exchange and consider also depending on the setting of your role play, particularly if it's modern, do you have characters that maybe don't celebrate Christmas? So do we need to pull in things from maybe other wintertime holidays such as Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or anything else? And if you've got a role play that maybe isn't modern, then another thing to consider is maybe calling it Yule and having Yule themed events instead of having explicitly Christmas themed events for your particular wintertime event. So right now, for example, I'm running a post-apocalyptic fantasy role play. It has magic, gods, all that sort of fun fantasy stuff. So we're gonna have a Yule event. So another fun thing to do for winter, and this is something that I think fits like January really well, is to do winter activities. So building snowmen, snow angels, having snowball fights, things like that. You might also consider winter sports such as skiing or hockey being something that you make into an event for your role play. Football playoffs also happen in winter, so that's something that you could do. If you have a more anime themed role play, consider a trip to a hot springs for everyone that's in your role play. These are some really fun low key events that you can do in the winter time that aren't centered around particular holidays. So they're a little bit looser and sometimes more inclusive. So they're really good for role plays where you're looking for that sort of thing. Also consider winter month weather events, such as a blizzard or a snowstorm. Maybe everyone gets trapped where they are living because the roads are closed. Maybe the power goes out, something like that. This can be a really good event to introduce some light conflict into the role play. If you're running a role play set in a school or where you have mostly teenage characters, then you might also consider winter vacation ideas or winter themed dances in your role play. These are all things that happen around that time of year for most schools. I know particularly in America, a lot of times you'll have a break that's around Christmas time and then you go back to school sometime in January. And before that break, you'll have like a winter formal or something like that before the school lets out for the holidays. Moving along just a little bit in the winter months, we have our other winter holiday, Valentine's Day. So we don't wanna forget that one because this is a really good way to do an event that helps people that really like to ship in their role plays. This could be a gift exchange, this could be a party, really anything that has to do with chocolate and flowers fits for a Valentine's Day event. And don't forget, if you have a role play that's a little bit on the darker side, anytime you have a party event, there's an opportunity for your villains to come and crash the party. Winter is also flu season, so this is a really good time to do a sickness or outbreak type of event as well. This can take on a lot of forms. Maybe you have a bunch of non-player characters that are killed off by whatever the disease is that is going into the role play. Maybe we're talking about a more like regular flu and there's some kind of randomizer if your character gets the flu or not during this event. Or maybe if your role play has fantasy or horror elements, we're talking about something that's more like a zombie outbreak. These are all great reasons to have an event or a plot that surrounds a major non-player character's death. And anytime that you're killing off a major non-player character, this is a great way to get some story going in your role play and kind of push things along for everybody. So these are my ideas for winter events, the things that are kind of like my go-tos during this time of year. What winter events do you guys like to run in your role play? I'm really curious if there's like other things that you tend to go to during these cold winter months. Let me know down below. So that's basically the video for today. It's a little bit short. I wanted to do something kind of light and fun because I had a little bit of a channel update today. So during Christmas time, essentially people aren't watching YouTube so much. <laughs> so I'm going to take just a little bit of a break from actually posting videos. I'm still probably gonna be working on filming and editing, but everything that I do is gonna be going up in January. So this will be the last video that I post for December. So I will see you guys back 
after the new year. So in the meantime, of course, you know, I'm still working on promoting my channel and helping it grow. So make sure to do your like normal, like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notifications. And during these winter months where I'm not posting, if you guys are really looking to kind of help my channel grow and are really liking my content, I would really, really appreciate it if you would share any of these videos that you find helpful out to others that you're role playing with because this is going to be my focus for the next couple of weeks while I know that YouTube's not getting quite as many views is to kind of make sure that I'm getting the word about my channel out there. Um, also, I have like a ton of social media. It's all linked below. I have Instagram, I have Twitter, I have Facebook. So if you prefer to get your video feed from elsewhere than from subscribing on YouTube directly, you can always follow me on those and those are linked down below as well. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you liked this. I hope this was a good inspiration for some role play that you can do over the Christmas break where things sort of slow down and everyone's sort of busy with exams and holidays. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make it a great day.